Assalamu alaikum. This is Nasir Ahmad Mahboob. Welcome to the Vedantic YouTube channel. In this video series, I would like to create cable for both IP based camera and analog based camera as well as its camera installation. This is a RG59 cable. It has two cable, two pair cable. One is used for data, another used for electricity. Now we are using the BNC connector. Make sure that this small cable not touch with this cable with the main core and just here we have a crimping tool. This is a special type of crimping tool that are used for crimping the quickshell cable. This tape will help us that this small cable not moving from here touching with the main core. Also it is help that it's a bit, a bit consist against rain and, and dust. Positive and negative, you can see it's a positive line and this this side is negative with positive we can connect the red cable and with the negative we can connect the black this power supply is very good that is very protected from rain so it has new cover here you can push it you can see here it has the structure in this section we can connect the power cable in the other side of this cable should be connected with main electricity. In the second step, we are fixing the camera. Make sure that the cable is on the gap if it's fixed then we can a bit move our camera and then tighten sees that this IP camera has two ports one is for network and one is for power and you can see this another IP camera has many ports a bit smarter like for network port this is used for alarm and this to use for audio in and audio out means it has the ability like speaker and also this is used for the power this power is used when we don't have a PV switch, so in that case we use this power to give the power for the camera. And uh, these are the map used uh, for this camera. We can easily remove this and install it on the ceiling or where we are installing this camera. As you can see, it has right here the skew section. Just we are skewing this and using this double and uh, push it right here. And after it's completed, then we will do this open this camera. This is open, you can see. After we have opened it, then we adjusted with the holes that we drilled. 
right here like this. And after we fix it, then we can also adjust this camera a bit to up to down. Like we can adjust like this. And after we have adjusted, so we can push that cover back to the its proper location. Then we tighten it. We are installing stand for camera that is a bit far from the wall or ceiling. Sometimes there are some things that not let the camera to cover the full area. So in that case, we are using this type of stands. Uh, it will help us to move the camera in any degree so we have to install Here we have both DVR, this is NVR and this is DVR. This is analog based camera recorder and this is network based recorder. Here you can see that this port is totally different used for BNC connector. Here this DVR is supporting around 8 channels. You can see this is for USB port and this is out for TV this is hdmi out and also this is vg out these two ports are used for audio or speaker in and out in this port you can see that we can connect this dvr with the network and this port is used for gear or if sometimes we have a ptz camera so we can connect that device right here and this is the power cable Another is this is the NVR. It has instead of this uh, connector, you can see that it has Ethernet port, and also it has another Ethernet port that this port can connect uh, with the network. But with this Ethernet port, we can connect the cameras. As you can see, like we are bringing the cable of the camera, you can see, and uh, we are connecting right here but with this port we are connecting this dvr with the network this has two output like one is vj and one is hdmi as the previous it's for a mic or speaker out or in and this is also usb port. 